We finally fall apart and we break each other's hearts If we want to live young love, we better start today It's gotta get easier, oh easier somehow Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Me Before You. So Me Before You stars Amelia Clark and Sam Claflin. The film is based off of a best-selling novel and the film is about this young woman named Lou who was trying to find a job but she's having a very hard time finding the job and she really desperately needs this job and they gave her the position to take care of a paralyzed man. This paralyzed man is named Will and he is played by Sam Claflin and so Lou has to take care of Will and of course as you can figure out they do fall in love as the movie goes on. So I was actually looking forward to Me Before You. I really liked the trailer. It looked very charming. It looked very adorable. I do like the romance genre personally. Of course if it's done right. If it's done wrong then that's a different story but you know if it's done right I actually do like the romance genre and I was looking forward to this movie because it looked very sweet and really when you think about it there hasn't been a whole lot of romance movies coming out in 2016. I think it's about time that I actually get to see a romance movie and hopefully a good one as well. And it is based off of the novel. I've never read the novel, so it's just going to be me basically just saying my own opinion based on what I saw on the big screen. So coming out of Me Before You, I have to say, thank goodness, this is actually a romance movie done right of course in my own opinion and the reason i honestly really enjoyed this movie is definitely because of the two standout performances from amelia clark and sam claflin will and lou they were both characters that i definitely did connect in terms of their romance and it's thanks to honestly because of the great performances of amelia clark and Sam Claflin because if the performances weren't strong and if the chemistry wasn't strong then basically you wouldn't really have a good movie from there but these two definitely pulled it off in my opinion. Amelia Clark, she is so adorable like wow when you just see her you just can't help but go aww because Amelia Clark is the definition of an absolute sweetheart just the minute you see her you just put a big old smile on your face because of how perky and just how lovable her character is her character I definitely instantly fell in love with I love Lou I thought Lou was a very great character and I thought Amelia Clark just did a very good job just playing this very very perky and happy character that's positive you know even though she's really struggling in her life she just stays positive and that's something I definitely really admire about the character of Lou. The script I thought was very well written and I can't comment between the difference of the book and the movie but basically from the couple of reviews I have read I have read that this movie was very loyal to the novel just a few changes of course just like with any book to movie adaptation but I really heard overall based on the reviews I've read that this movie is actually loyal to the novel and that's something I give huge credit for because I know it's hard to adapt uh, writing a script for a movie from the book. I thought the writers, they did a very good job with the overall writing, the overall storytelling, and making the chemistry of these characters very strong. So basically, if you really enjoyed the book, you're going to enjoy the movie. But if you really hated the book, then I have a feeling it's going to be no different with me before you. The cinematography does look beautiful for the movie. It is a very well directed film. I also do really like the side characters like I did really enjoy Will's mother and Will's father. I thought the actors who portrayed both of them did a really good job. I really liked Patrick who is Lou's boyfriend before she moved on to this one. Yeah, there is a little love triangle here folks. It's just too bad that he was the third wheel. I actually felt bad for him, but yeah, I really enjoyed the Patrick character personally. He was honestly just as likable as Lou was. I thought the music choices in the film were great as well. I thought they flowed very nicely for whatever scene is happening. The movie also is surprisingly funny in some parts. Like, I wasn't expecting this to be 
a funny movie, but there were actually some moments where I was actually genuinely laughing. And then you do feel bad for Will because, you know, the life that he once had, he doesn't really have that life anymore. So you can get behind the character of Will as well. Uh, Will as well. <laughs> Funny. Okay, anyways. So yeah, I thought the movie did a very good job of making you care for both of the characters. And Will, even though he has a more negative attitude, you can understand where Will is coming from. You may disagree with some of the choices he makes in the movie without spoiling anything, but at the end of the day, you can understand where Will is coming from. And I thought the movie did a convincing job of doing that. I did really like how this movie ended. I'm not going to say what it is, of course, but all I'm going to say is the ending could either make it or break it for people because I know some people that didn't really enjoy this movie because of how it ended. So the ending could make it or break it for you. For me personally, I actually really liked how the movie ended. I thought it actually made perfect sense for why Me Before You ended the way it did. And I thought the message it was telling for its ending was honestly very well done. There are some problems I did have with Me Before You, however, like some of the humor didn't exactly work for me. Like while there's some humor that worked for me, some of the other humor didn't really work for me, but it was just kind of like, whatever. When you're introduced to Will, he is a straight up asshole. Like, okay, I understand the guy's paralyzed because the beginning of the movie does set up of how he becomes paralyzed. Once again, no spoilers. Look, I understand he's paralyzed. He can't do the things that he wants to do, but the stuff he says to Lou when Lou gets introduced to Will in the movie, like, Come on, man. I know you're negative, but that's no reason for you to talk to Lou like that. Lou is just so positive. Then you say some of that harsh shit to her? Like, come on now. The Lou Patrick storyline, like I said, I think Patrick's a very likable character, but there isn't really enough scenes with Lou and Patrick, and by the time that storyline is resolved, it didn't really go anywhere, honestly. It honestly felt like Patrick was just there, just to serve as as the third wheel and then you know the movie does have cliches you see in other romance movies which I was actually personally okay with I'm fine with cliches as long as I'm engaged in the storyline and because I was engaged in the storyline for me before you I was okay with the cliches however there were a few romantic cliches that had me going whatever really the first one is the obvious one where Will and Lou have to instantly fall in love with each other. And then there's this cliche with the third wheel thing. Um, this one scene where they're celebrating Lou's birthday. While yes, a few funny moments in that scene, honestly was kind of awkward to watch. And then of course the final cliche, which might be like the most bothersome for me personally, is the whole thing where there's a certain conflict that basically starts the third act and you can basically figure out where it goes from there. The third act was still really great, but I did feel like the third act, once the certain conflict started that starts the third act, it was a little bit rushed. Overall, you guys, I did think Me Before You was a very solid romance movie. It is a romance movie done right. I love the performances with Amelia Clark and Sam Claflin. You can get behind Lou and Will, even though, yes, Will did start off to be very asshole-y in the beginning. Asshole-y is that even a word? Whatever. As I said earlier, if you like the novel or love the novel, then you're most likely going to like or love Me Before You. But if you hated the novel, which I know some people that did, think I think you're going to hate Me Before You. Personally, I thought it was a good movie, and I'm going to give Me Before You a solid three out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about Me Before You. And if you read the novel of Me Before You, let me know what did you think of the novel as well. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!